हम लोग फ्रेंच कंपनी शेफरान के साथ इंडियन मेकिंग का काम भारत में शुरू करने जा रहे हैं India stands at the threshold of historic breakthrough one that could shape the future of its air power at a recent conclave India's defense minister Mr Rajnath Singh made an announcement the enthusiasts of the aviation had been long waiting for India will build its own indigenous fighter jet engines in collaboration with French manufacturer Safran the defense research and development organization is now preparing to place a crucial proposal before the cabinet committee on security to jointly design develop test and produce these high thrust engines in india this is more than just technology this is about strategic independence about sovereignty in the skies flashback to august 15th it was from the red fort prime minister narendra modi declared india must have its own indigenous jet engine the kaveri jet engine project india's flagship effort fell short of expectations designed to power the light combat aircraft tejas it could not deliver the required thrust the result india was forced to rely on american ge engines to keep its fighter program alive now the stakes are higher than ever before India's next big project the advanced medium combat aircraft or the amca demands engines in an 110 to 120 kN thrust class without an indigenous power plant india risks perpetual dependence on foreign suppliers and it's here that the french safran enters the picture offering not just an engine but full partnership for india this could be a game changer The French company, already a partner in Rafale program, is now in talks with the DRDO to co-develop a new high-thrust turbofan engine. A deal worth nearly 7 billion US dollars with 100% transfer of technology to design, test, qualify, certify and produce the new 120 kN engines in India. And just days ago, The Defence Minister of India Mr Rajnath Singh confirmed the move. But why Safran? Why not the American or the Russian engines? The United States has cutting edge engine technology, but Washington has consistently been reluctant to share the core design and hot section know-how, especially turbine blade metallurgy and single crystal technology. Russia on the other hand has historically been India's closest defense partner but Russian engine technology has struggled with efficiency and durability the engines deliver raw thrust but with higher fuel burn and shorter life spans when compared to the western designs France by contrast offers both advanced technology and willingness to co-develop Safran has indicated openness to share critical hot core technology and assist in creating a new engine optimized for indian needs this indo french project isn't just about producing an engine it's about producing knowledge for india's mca and other future platforms the ability to design test and manufacture at home could decide whether india truly breaks free from the decades of dependence on foreign suppliers the cabinet committee on securities note will be the next decisive step as per the existing timelines the amca with stealth features like internal weapons base and serpentine air intakes will only be ready for production by year 2035 the indian air force plans to induct seven squadrons of the fighter the first two squadrons will use the american ge f414 engines but the next five will be powered by the 120 kN engine co-developed with Safran. For India, this isn't just a technical milestone. It's a strategic necessity because air dominance in 21st century begins quite literally at the heart of the engine. The road will be long, the challenge is immense, but if India succeeds in mastering the fighter jet engine, it would have taken a giant step towards true atmanirbharta in defense manufacturing